What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, we may not be the best, and every play won't be perfect, but I guarantee you we'll have a good time. Smash that like button for us if you're hyped, and I hope you enjoy. What's good, YouTube? Never I until you're back again on once again. And today, people, today I am your coach of the Tucson Terrakions in the United Championship League, the UCL, and we are here for our Week 7 battle against Leo, formerly known as El Master Shell Off, aka Six Foot Hacks. Coach of the Durham Dragons, and we have a very, very terrifying matchup against us. Ah! If you want to know why we brought what we brought, then make sure you go and check out our team preparation video that went up late last night. A lot of you guys may have missed out on it. Definitely make sure you go back and check it out. I'm going to load up my music 23. If you guys are hyped for this week's UCL match, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, and you're supporting the Tucson Terrakions all the way, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But let us see here. Let us see here. Let us see here. Oh, no. I'm so sad. Okay, so I, pre I literally predicted five of his mons. In our team prep video, I literally predicted five of his mons. So we have Dredagon, Registeel, Terrakion, Mega Blastoise. We have Victini and Clefable. So pretty much everyone but the Dredagon. I predicted because his three OU Mons, Terrakion, Victini, and Clefable fuck up our team. Mega Blastoise is there just to do what he can, and Registeel stops our Gardevoir. So I'm sure the whatchamacallit's there, the Dragon's there to fuck us up too. On our squad, we have Titania, the Mega Gardevoir, Nutcracker, the Empoleon, 30 minutes to Rotom Heat, Thumbs, the Ambipom, Britannia, the 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 Empoleon and Pearl, our Dragon Knight. So I'm thinking for him potentially could be Victini, Terrakion. Registeel, possibly, maybe Clefable, so I'm thinking, I think our safest lead at this point is probably Rotom Heat, only downside to that is if, oh no, I can Thunder Wave the Clefable, oh I don't know, Rotom or Britannia, Rotom or Britannia, Rotom or Britannia, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, I mean, we don't have U-Turn on Thumbs, I can leave with him and fake out just, just to be safe. I'm gonna leave with him and fake out just to be safe, and we can go from there. I'm gonna leave with him and fake out just to be safe. I kind of wanted to go with Rotom. He doesn't have the Crook or the uh, Deep Striker, so we're safe to Volt Switch. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Vicente. Okay, so the Victini is leading. So let me jot down his Mons over here. So we have Dredagon. We have Registeel, Dredagon, Registeel, Terrakion, uh, Blastoise, which is obviously Mega. Yeah, I write down my shit twice. Don't ask me why. It just it it just helps the process, okay? So we have Victini and then Clefable. Whew! All right, look at all those Wonder Trade Wednesday hatched eggs. Um, so I'm thinking we can just fake out. He could just hard switch into Registeel to be that guy to help save health on this thing. Uh, but I'm gonna just gonna I'm just gonna click fake out. There's no point in us not clicking fake out. Even if he wants to swap, that's fine. I could click knockoff, but then we find out if he's scarfed or not because we naturally outspeed. We're max speed. Uh, so even if he's max speed, we'll outspeed with with knockoff. But I'm gonna click fake out because we're life orb. Doesn't make a difference. So he withdrew. Should have clicked knockoff. Should have clicked knockoff. Should have clicked knockoff. Rough skin, Rocky helmet, and life orb damage is gonna fuck us up. Mm. Do you have Rocky helmet, my good sir? Yes, you do. Oh, get fucked. All right, so we have. I don't even know what Dredagon's other abilities are. So we're pretty much screwed in this sense, uh, because we can't really, let me see here, let me see here, let me see here, let me see here, against a Dredagon, yo, if I would have knocked off, that would have been great. What the, how the fuck do you spell Dredagon? <laughs> how the fuck do you spell Dredagon? Okay, so he gets rocks as well, I'm feeling like he might set up rocks. Uh, we don't have anything that kills it from this range. So that sucks. 
And we got like mineral on that too, unless he has defense investments. So I'm thinking I might want to hard swap. I'm thinking I might want to hard swap into. Hmm. Only downside then is what do we do in return? That's the only downside. Huh. We can't do anything in return. Oh, this thing is annoying. Um. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um. I feel like he's gonna click stealth route. So I'm just gonna knock off what it's worth. Which fucks us up, but I feel like he's gonna click stealth route. And if he kills us, then he kills us. He went for stealth route. Okay. That's annoying because now that means we need to. Now that means we need to. Uh, I didn't know what to do that turn. I did not know what to do that turn. <sighs> it's annoying because now that means we can't swap thumbs out because we take unnecessary stealth rock damage. And we can kill from this range. Only downside is we don't have that initiative with knockoff going forward. Because that would have been nice against the Victini. And the uh, Witchmacall would have been nice against the Registeel as well. Uh, let me... I feel like Leo's gonna sack this off because he doesn't need it. I won't say all that. I just don't want to click Gunk Shot and he goes out to the Ready Steel. Because I could click Low Kick. It's just, I don't know if Low Kick will kill. Min, min roll from Low Kick won't kill. But Low Kick doesn't miss. I'm gonna click Gunk Shot. Come on! Ah! Just show us the percentage! Fuck! Showdown has spoiled us. Because the damage count just shows 44 to 52%. So that means he had to have had like 46% health or something like that. And we didn't get max roll. Okay. So moving forward here, I think what I'm gonna do. I was going to say, I want to go out to Gardevoir, but I can't safely do that. What is his base speed? 48. Napoleon should outspeed, and that should bait either Terrakion or Blastoise to come out. I think that's what I'm going to do. It sucks because of Stealth Rock damage. It really sucks because of Stealth Rock damage. But I feel like that's the best thing to do. Um... I could get the the rocks away, but I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like Bertain is the best option. Because if I were to go out to Rotom and Volt Switch to kill it, I feel like he'd just go out to Victini. I need Britannia at as much health as possible. That's the thing. I need Britannia at as much health as possible. I don't want to keep taking chip damage. So, Flash Cannon kills. I don't see him bringing in Victini on this thing. Blastoise he might bring in if he wants to keep this thing alive for whatever reason. I really do want Stealth Rocks up because then I can see if Clefable is Magic Guard or not. And it'll whittle down the Victini. But, like I said, I need this thing alive, and we currently outspeed this thing. So, I kind of want to click Flash Cannon, just because... I mean, Skull should kill. Skull should kill. I'm just nervous of, like, low rolls, because we did just get a low roll on that Gunk Shot. So, I'm nervous. I think Skull is the best play, because Skull will touch the Clefable. I mean, Flash Cannon will touch the Clefable, but I don't see him bringing in Clefable against... A steel type like this. Reggie Steel is a good option as well, or you could just sack it off and get a free swap in. My only thing is if he swaps in um 
he could send in whatchamacallit right now and proceed to just curse setup on us. And that's no good. That's no good. I wanna double check and see what rock type moves Reggie still gets. Tortuga, that's his turtle. I wanna double check just so I have it in my head. He gets rock polish, he does get rock slide and rock slide, okay. I couldn't remember for half a second if it's just Ancient Power or if it's anything else. Okay, so I can't risk our Chopper Berry getting popped right now. So. We don't have a lot of options for this thing. I mean, Titania's there, but anything Mega Launch is gonna hurt. This is what I say when we do not have a good team matchup against them. Let me... I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Let me keep an eye on this real quick. I feel like he could just click Roar. He can safely just Roar. Does he Roar or does he... Ah, oh, I don't lose my Choppo Berry! Ah! Oh! Does he roar or does he go for... He could Ice Beam predict us to swap. Or he can roar. And I wouldn't mind getting the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna defog. Oh my god, please don't Aura Sphere me. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I should not have done that. He wore a sphere. And there goes the Chapel Berry! And there goes the Chapel Berry. So the whole plan, the whole plan with the close combat went away. And I want you to know, like two turns ago, before I sent out the, the Empoleon, I actually thought, I was like, I'm gonna lose this Chapel Berry to an Aura Sphere. I literally thought that. I, when I said he could just go out to Blastoise, I'm like, I'm gonna lose this to Warrior Sphere. But you know what? I got the rocks away, which I think Registeel and Trackhound both get stealth rocks. Clefable does too, so oh, fuck it all, fuck it all. Just lost my Tyler here for nothing. Okay, so he can just Aura Sphere again. Uh, this Empoleon, at this point with the Chopper Berry gone, I don't necessarily need it. I mean, I don't outspeed. I mean, I outspeed the Clefable for what it's worth. I can flash cannon the Fable. I just don't want to hard swap and take unnecessary damage, you know? Because it's this and the Chestnut are the two answers that I have to Terrakion. And this is already gone. <laughs> I'm letting Mons die too fast. I'm letting Mons die too fast. I don't outspeed the Blastoise. I just don't want to take any unnecessary damage on Chestnut because we don't have a way to heal. And sending out Rotom is suicide. Sending out Titania is just extra damage as well. I could go out to Titania predicting a Aura Sphere, but then he can just Dark Pulse me or Water Pulse me and fuck me up. And that's. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's the most advantageous thing for me to do. Because it's like, I'm waiting in my head, like, do I take the extra damage on the Gardevoir, or do I sack off the Empoleon and get a clean switch in? You know? I'm not playing well. I'm not playing well. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm going to do. Uh, what I think I'm going to do. So I finished shot these mods now. I think I'm going to go into Titania. Which he's already revealed 
I don't think he's carrying roar. Uh, let me see. Let me see how much these do. Okay, so Water Pulse still does a shit ton. I'm gonna go into Titania. Wait, we don't outspeed. We won't outspeed turn one. Oh, fuck. Oh, I keep thinking, yes we do, yes we do, yes we do. Okay, I'm gonna go after this. I keep thinking for whatever reason, Gardevoir is base 70. She's base 80. I fucked that up last year, too. I fucked that up last year, too. Okay, so what I can do is I can go for a... Let me recalc this. Let me recalc this. Hyper Voice is a shit ton to this Blastoise. The strongest thing he has is Water Pulse. That only does 42% max. So let me calc this Registeel. Let me calc this Registeel. Even with Hyper Voice and Focus Blast, we're not killing. That gives him a free curse, and that's scary as shit. Um, I feel like he's gonna stay in and just hit me right back. I feel like he's not gonna go out to Ready Steel right now. I mean, he could. He very well could. But I feel like he's gonna get the damage off so the Ready Steel can kill next turn. So I'm gonna Hyper Voice. Ah! Oh! Why don't I ever listen to my gut? Oh wait, what is this? He's gotta be Assault Vest. If he's not Scarfed, he has to be Assault Vested. Because that's the only reason he'd send it in. He has to be Assault Vested. He has to be Assault Vested. And we'll know if he is based upon his damage. He's Assault Vested. He's Assault Vested. So he's Assault Vest Victini. And the problem now is we have nothing to take a hit. <laughs> Because even like a V create does so much damage. So like let's look at Rotom. Let's look at Rotom against uh what is this thing? Victini. So he is assault vested. So Adamant, I mean it only does 36%. But we can't do anything in return, we have to Thunder Wave him. Which we're fine to go for. We're fine to go for. So V create away. I mean Zen Headbutt. Is gonna hurt. How much is Zen Headbutt doing? Oh! Ah! It hurts so much. Mm, 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 mm. I did not play smart with the Ambo Palm, and I, I was too risky with the Empoleon. That was one of the things that I had to, to handle the Terrakion. And the Terrakion is just gonna sit in the back until everything that can handle it is gone, and then he can just send it out, and it's clobbering time then. Fuck! Well, if there's one thing that I want to get fucked up by, it would be our own mascot. Blue Flare! So he's either mixed or some special set. I'll take that. I'll take a Blue Flare. Okay, so I want to click Thunder Wave because Thunder Wave on anyone is nice, barring a Magic Guard Clefable, which I feel like he might go out to just to take the hit. But I'm gonna Thunder Wave just to be that guy. Does Victini get a Rock type move? I'm scared. I'm terrified. No, he doesn't. All he gets is Hidden Power Rock, which he's, we already see is a special variant, so he could very well carry Hidden Power Rock. Who knows? Who knows? But Thunder Waving the Victini or the Trackdown would be great. That'd be absolutely amazing. Flared again. Okay, so unless he's carrying Heal Bell and Clefable, Rutini has been slowed down. 
I very much appreciate that. <sighs> Only problem is, we can't touch this thing now. I can Volt Switch, but it's Assault Vested, which is probably why he stayed in. And I know... Well, we know he's... What is... What, what the fuck is Blue Flare's accuracy? It's 85%, and he's landed two of them so far. And we know he, he's got to be... Because that's like 25%. Hold on, let me check this again. Maybe I'll jump the gun with that. If he is... Calm natured. Max Special Defense. He's either that or he's Assault Vested, one of the two. Hmm. I kind of want to just click Pain Split. And whatever he sends in, we'll take some HP from it. Or if he wants to leave this in, we'll take some HP from that. I want you to know, I had the biggest moment of confusion. Because I was like, doesn't V create lower speed? How did I outspeed him? <laughs> it's fucking paralyzed. It's paralyzed. Okay, so max special defense. Let's put assault vest on it. So if he isn't max special defense or max HP, we still don't have a chance to kill with Shadow Ball. Ah! With this thing being paralyzed, Gardevoir, one of Gardevoir's threats is down because we can handle this thing. The Reggie Steel and the Tarakion are still an issue. So the only thing I can do right now... Hmm, let me see here. We're not touching this thing. Fuck! We are not touching this thing. And he knows it! That's why he's leaving it in. The only option I could do is to hard swap into Titania. 40 seconds, and how much is a blue flare doing? Oh! Oh! So much damage! Oh. It does so much damage! Okay, so the only thing I can do right now is to overheat and hope to low- that combined with the volt switch is enough to lower his, uh, whatchamacallit. That combined with the volt switch is enough to lower his HP to the point that Titania can come in. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> this is a great turn! Fucking stupendous turn! Because the thing is, if he's Assault Vested, Shadow Ball does 45%. If he's Max HP, Max Special Defense, Assault Vested, Shadow Ball only does 30%. If he's Max HP, Max Defense, and he's not rocking an Assault Vest, Shadow Ball is 45%. So no matter what, I have to bring it down to about 40%. I have to. I don't see Leo running all of that for Gardevoir, because he already takes the hits way too well. I mean, the turn pretty much just reset itself. I could be that guy and try and bolt switch out and pray for the paralysis, but... He can't touch me and I can't touch him. The only difference is he doesn't get his stats lowered. That's the only difference. How many times has he blue flared already? Gotta be running out of PP. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna click overheat again. The only downside here is if he goes out to Blastoise or Clefable to help keep this thing alive. Here comes the Blastoise. I should have Volt Switched. Moonshine. Oh, this thing. This is gonna eat up this. Like it's nothing. Oh my god, he actually didn't. He took that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So he's not specially invested. 
I'm gonna find out right now what he's most likely running, since we did, what, almost 40%? Yeah, he can't be specially invested. Now, my thing is, are you Magic Guard, buddy? I feel like he's gotta be Magic Guard. I feel like he's got a Calm Mind. Ah! Well, since he's not specially invested, and I did so much, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're, we're, screwed. we're screwed. We're screwed, we're screwed, we're screwed, we're screwed, we're screwed! Um, I can Volt Switch for what it's worth. But if he sets up Calm Mind... Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? If he sets up Calm Mind, it's so, it's so serious for us. Because I need to either A, go out to Dragonite. Go out to Dragonite, predicting the Calm Mind. So I can get in on the Calm Mind and Iron Head it immediately. Which would then force him to swap into like Reggie's deal. Or Blastoise, he has to do one of the two. Because from this range, Gardevoir doesn't kill. Especially not if he has a... Calm mind up. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Are you going to calm mind or are you going to. I mean, if he moon blasts, we still have multi skill. We can take a moon blast. We'll do a little over half. We can take a Moon Blast. It's just we lose our multi scale. Which fucking sucks. But that applies the pressure on this thing. And whether he Calm Minds or not, we're still good. Oh my god. Um, I actually don't have to lock myself into Iron Head. I can lock myself into Earthquake, which touches everything. So either Titania or Pearl. Titania or Pearl. I need both of them, that's the thing. I'm gonna go out to Pearl. Because if he Moon Blasts, we live. If he Calm Minds, we can force it out. He Soft Boiled. Okay, Leo! You safe bitch! <sighs> okay, so... And I'm pretty sure he revealed Leftovers. Alright, so... Problem! <laughs> Problem! Uh, Leo has to know I sent in the Dragonite because I have Iron Head. Now, Iron Head does 98 to 115. But then again, if he's... He's not specially bulky. So what if he's phys physically bulky? Oh, those numbers drop drastically. Drastically. Only thing is, if I click Iron Head and he goes out to Blastoise or Registeel, that gives him a chance to set up. Earthquake is my safest move, because again, we still have the, whatchamacallit, intact. He could just soft boil again to see what I locked myself into. I, I, I'm, everything is screaming at me to Earthquake. Like, Iron Head does a shit ton of damage, but he has Blastoise and Registeel sitting right there. And Victini, which resisted. I'm gonna click Earthquake. It covers more things. That should do about half. There we go. So he moon blasted, which will eat up. We'll eat up. Just because we're multi scale. Oh, the special attack. Oh no! Okay, so at this point, we need Pearl alive just for E speed purposes. But he can't swap out to anything because of Earthquake. If he does, it should be just the Blastoise if he wants to keep this thing alive. And I did see the leftovers just now. Uh, let's see here. Earthquake does like 39%, so we still have to swap out then. So Blastoise is his best bet, but we have no reason not to Earthquake again. So the question is, does he keep this thing alive, because it's a fucking Clefable, but he's sack it off to get a clean switch in? Because he has things that outspeed me, like Terrakion, and I have no switch in to Terrakion. Ugh! Oh, life! And it's millions and millions of problems!
because you see with Earthquake, Blastoise is his only option. If Tini dies, Regi I mean, Registeel takes massive damage, Terrakion's almost dead. The Clefable dies if he stays in. There goes the Victini. I guess he realized he didn't need it since he was paralyzed. He thought he didn't need it since he was paralyzed. Okay, so that's one huge threat gone. And that gives him a chance to get Softboy back on the Clefable. Now, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go out to Terrakion here. Pretty sure he's gonna go out to Terrakion. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna go out to Terrakion and click Rock Slide. Because he outspeeds me naturally. I mean, he could go out to Blastoise, because I'm pretty sure Blastoise is still at full HP. I think? Yeah, I was gonna say Blastoise is still the safest option. Because he can eat anything and then just Ice Beam me. Fuck, 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 fuck! I'm so fucking screwed! His first four months just. Okay, let me look at, let me look at, uh, uh, it doesn't matter if I outspeed or not, I'm locked in the Earthquake, so, I'm sure he knows that based on how much damage he did to Togekiss. So let me see here, Water Pulse does the most to me, see, that's just, it's so fucking stupid. I have 50 seconds. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think really quick. I just want to check speeds. I just want to check speeds. I have 30 seconds. Uh, if he has speed investments, he can't outspeed my Rotom. I feel like he might do. I feel like the only switch in I have right now is Gardevoir. Because then I can do enough damage with Hyper Voice to come in and E Speed kill it. Oh, that's so. Fuck! We have to hope he Ice Beams! To hope he Ice Beams! Which I feel like he might since multi skill is broken. He Ice Beamed. Okay. Alright, so since we outspeed, the question is, will he take the damage on this Tortuga or no? I feel like I have to. If he is... Even max HP, max special defense, careful nature, or calm nature, Hyper Voice still has the potential to do over half. Hyper Voice is my only option. He can't Oko me from this range. But I'm pretty sure I voice my only option. If he wants to go out to the Registeel and save this thing, like for the Dragonite, I could click Focus Blast, but Focus Blast. I mean, I could Focus Blast and Hyper Voice next turn. That still wouldn't get the job done if he decides he wants to stay in. But I feel like he might want to try and kill this thing. Ah! Do I Focus Blast? Do I Focus Blast or do I Hyper Voice? So my thing is two Focus Blasts kill Registeel, but a Hyper Voice and a Focus Blast doesn't kill Registeel. You know, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to click Hyper Voice, and we can go from there. Oh. I'm going to Focus Blast. <gasps> Bruno? We have no reason not to Focus Blast again. No reason not to. Protect! Stop it with your fucking leftovers! God damn it! I'm so happy about that. Now I'm pretty sure this doesn't kill. That did over half. So he can't be specially defensive. He can't be specially defensive. 
What fucking... What? I don't understand what... Was that a crit and I didn't see it? I don't understand why they did so much damage. So I'm looking at the calcs right now, and even without a calm nature and no investments in special defense, it still says... Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Fucking hell. Okay, so he has to have some investments in special defense. So, leftovers... We have a chance to kill. We have a chance to kill. Even with his leftovers recovery, we have a chance to kill. And if he swaps, the only thing he can swap into is the Blastoise. Only thing he can swap into is the Blastoise. See, he needs to keep this alive because it's the only thing that he has that switches into a Hyper Voice now that Victini's gone. I'm just so afraid of the Terrakion. It's just sitting in the back. Come on, Titania, give it all you got. Give it all you got. No! Fuck! Why did he toxic me? He could have just iron headed and killed me. I'm just saying, focus blast from max HP, max special defense. If he's careful nature, it does max 56.6%. Max 56.6%, which means that we got a low roll. That's max HP, max special defense, careful nature. We got a low roll. Fucking hell. I can safely hyper voice though and kill this thing. And if he wants to swap out to anything else, we're fine too. Because, like I said, there's nothing else on this team that safely takes a hyper voice. Because we saw his Clefable's not specially bulky, so the Clefable's gonna go down. I think Min to Clefable is like 67%. So, either he sacks this off, or something else comes in and dies. Ugh, it's aggravating. Why did he toxic? I don't understand why he toxic. Is it so, like, quick attack Terrakion can come in? <laughs> I don't understand. Because his only option at this point, he could go out to Blastoise. He could go out to Blastoise. I guess maybe he was hoping I would miss the Focus Blast, but there's no reason for me to go to Focus Blast. He could go out to Blastoise right now. If he goes to Blastoise, I'm Hyper Voicing. Because... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do I need to Hyper Voice? I mean, I have Dragonite. Yep, there's the track, yeah. That's all he needed. That's all he needed. So he outspeeds, so I die no matter what. But I'm gonna hyper voice on the off chance he wants to go for sub or anything else. Or swords dance, thinking I might swap and save this thing. He's stone edged. Okay. I was gonna say, just on the off chance. Yo, if he would have missed that, that was a crit. How rude. If he would have missed that, that would have been like the battle against Padres all over again. You only won because he missed Stone Edge. <laughs> okay, so I don't see um whatchamacallit. So I have to go out to this now. Because he carries Stone Edge and that body's my other two mons. I have to go out to the Nutcracker. Against Terrakion. It's not Life Orb though, we know that. Okay, so if on the off chance he runs X Scissor. Close combat hits me the hardest. <sighs> C-Bomb hits everything on his team the hardest. Because C-Bomb will hit Clefable harder than... If he is physically defensive... Fuck! C-Bomb will hit everything as hard... Or, or the hardest that we can. But will C-Bomb kill the Terrakion? C-Bomb won't kill his Rakion. He kills me next turn. Fuck, 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 fuck. But C-Bomb covers everything on his team the best. So I'm gonna click C-Bomb. Aerial Ace! He gets Aerial Ace! But he's not Bandit. And it's not Stab, so we should live. I should've Drain Punched him. Oh, he's Life Orb. Oh, that's Rocky Helm. Never mind. 
I should have drain punched. I was just, I was thinking what covers everything. That's what I was thinking of. So wait, how much health do we have? We can live another area lace. For what it's worth, we can live another area lace. We can live another area lace. I was not expecting that. I count fucking. Whatchamacallit? <sighs> Ooh, if he gets a max roll, we're not living another area lace. I count X scissor. What the fuck? I completely forgot he got area lace. Completely forgot he got area lace. If we can get rid of this Terrakion, we'll be in so much better shape. So much better shape. I should have drain punched though. That's that was like 50-50 though. No, I should have calc drain punch on Blastoise. Cause I just automatically thought C bomb Blastoise major damage. Because if we would have drain punched, I would have done 20%. That wouldn't have been enough. It would not have been enough. But I feel like he wants to keep this thing alive because it outspeeds everything. But he's not banded, and he's not life ward. So I don't think I would die to a quick attack from him. Well, my e-speed goes before his quick attack anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh. He went for Swords Dance? Why did he Swords Dance? Was he expecting me to swap? I don't understand that. 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 I don't get it. Uh, Ice Beam kills me from this range. But what I want to do... The question is, will he Water Pulse or will he Ice Beam? Ice Beam touches two of my mods, whereas Water Pulse touches one. So if I predict his Ice Beam, I can go out to Rotom, which in turn I outspeed and I get a Bolt Switch off on him. Question is, how much? Because Sea Bomb does 30% min. Thirty percent min. Bolt Switch does forty percent min. And Dragonite can sweep up after that. Question is, does he Water Pulse or does he Ice Beam? Because if he clicks Ice Beam and I go out to Rotom... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I mean, he just predicted me to do something, and I didn't do it. So if he predicts again... Oh! Water Pulse does so much damage. But you know what? We do have a chance to live. We do have a chance to live, and we outspeed. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna play that risky. I'm just gonna see bomb. Yeah, he ice beam. <sighs> Fuck. See, I always, I always go against what I initially think. I don't know why. I don't know why. That might, that might have made a difference. That might have made a huge difference. Fuck. Okay. So my only option is this. My only option is this. Which I would have to Volt Switch, and we're gonna die to a Water Pulse. Mmm, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I should've swapped into Rotom. I think we just lost. He carries Skull. Holy shit! Yeah, this is not good. We lost. FUCK! I should've swapped. Well, it wouldn't have made a difference, because even if I would have swapped, he's still outsped. So he has speed investments in his Blastoise. FUCK! Uh, because even if I click Dragon Claw, it's not enough. Fuck, 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 fuck! Ugh, I tried so hard! But in the end, it didn't even matter! Only thing we can hope for at this point is some sort of uber crit. What could I have done differently to say to to kill this Blastoise? I needed Titania. 
And what did I let Titania die to? The Terrakion. And you know, like, ten turns ago, the thought crossed my mind of sacking off Rotom. Because I was like, I don't need this Rotom anymore. Fuck. I needed the Gardevoir more than the Rotom. I needed the Gardevoir more than the Rotom. God damn it. I needed the Guard of War more than the Rotom. That was my misplay. I needed the Guard of War more than the Rotom. And that's gonna kill because we don't have multi scale. If we would have kept the multi scale, we would have lived that and killed the next time. But that shoulda, woulda, coulda. Fuck! Well, I knew going into this we had an uphill battle. So definitely good game to Leo. Uh, he bounced back miraculously after that. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No. Yes, I want to save it. I don't know why he went for Swords Dance. I don't really understand that, but I'll talk to him afterwards and see what he see what he was thinking. But still, good game to Leo. That definitely puts us at one to one, which means that next year, Leo, I'm coming for the ass, boy. Anyways, uh, like I said, my biggest misplay, I believe, was sacking off the Gardevoir and not keeping the Rotom because the Gardevoir outsped the Blastoise. That would have done like the 50% needed for the Earthquake from the Dragon to come in and kill, and the Earthquake would have then killed the. Clefable, but that's all woulda, coulda, shoulda. Let us know what you guys think of the battle down below. I definitely think that I let our Empoleon and our Ambipom go too soon as well, but still, it was a good battle nonetheless. Let us know what you guys think, and of course, make sure you check out Leo's channel and Twitter, both of which are linked in the description below. You can go and check out his channel. Obviously, as you see, he's an amazing battler, and you can see why he chose the moves that he did. With that, though, I'm gonna get up out of here. If you guys enjoyed, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, and you're supporting the Tucson Terrakions through wins and losses, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is really appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get up out. Thank y'all once again for your support. Thank you for checking the video. We out this bitch. Bye!